Hey there, thanks for coming. So I noticed something strange happening over the last six months, something that my plebeian anime only mind could not fully comprehend. And that is the unrelenting, unapologetic hype around this one anime about a man with a chainsaw forehead. Chainsaw Man. And wow, the hype was unlike anything I had ever seen before. So you bet your ass that when it came out, I gave it a watch with the highest of expectations. And boy was I disappointed. But then I watched it again, and again. And let me be completely honest, it grew on me. The mythological themes, the intricate subtext, all the things I missed the first time around were abundant and just pretty awesome. So I thought I'd share my findings with you. Here's what you need to know. There's a war going on between the forces of good and evil, and it's been brewing for centuries. On the side of evil, there's devils of all shapes and sizes. Some look straight out of a German fairy tale, and others have enough firepower to single-handedly turn a city to ash. On the side of good, are humans. See, in the world of Chainsaw Man, there's no god, there's no angels, no glowing deities to push back against the horrific aberrations of the night. Just regular old humans. But don't count us out just yet. Over the course of history, humanity has always risen up in the face of overwhelming odds. We're no stranger to putting our lives on the line and fighting the good fight, no matter how desperate the situation. And it's in the most desperate of times that heroes are born. Meet Denji. Denji's the hero of the series, but man, does he not look it. He's flat broke and lives in a hut in the forest. He sold parts of his body for money, and his only goal in life is to get with a girl before he eventually dies of congenital heart disease. And even that seems like a pipe dream. Let's break it down. Denji is the exact opposite of what you'd expect from a hero. He's not special, he doesn't have noble goals, and he's kind of a degenerate, right? He sold off one of his eyes, which tells us he's incapable of fully seeing the world as it is. That he's unwilling to face reality and chooses to escape it by turning a blind eye. He also sold off one of his balls, which is why he allows himself to get used, abused, and pushed around like a bullied school kid. Denji is a loser, of the worst kind. He's shackled by debt, purposefully naive, and has no self-respect. But that's what makes his transformation all the more rewarding to watch. Despite all his flaws, Denji's still a force for good in the world. As weak and hopeless as he is, he still wakes up every day and risks his life to do battle against evil. But Chainsaw Man is quick to remind us that just doing good isn't enough. Because one day, his willful ignorance finally catches up to him. Only problem with dogs is I can never tolerate the stench. <laughs> The death of Denji the loser paves the way for the birth of Denji the hero. After letting himself get taken out by the zombie demon. No, no, seriously, the zombie demon. These guys are slow, dumb, and clumsy as heck, yet Denji was so inattentive and ignorant that he couldn't even stop them from jumping him. Okay, so after letting himself get taken out by the zombie demon, Denji finally gets reborn as a hero, with his sight, strength, and ability to not restored. Using Denji as a vehicle, Chainsaw Man the anime is exploring one pretty interesting message. That message being, the world can be vicious, and if you don't pay close attention to the things going on around you, you'll end up in a dumpster. And yeah, you can say, you know, Denji just had a stroke of bad luck, or he was feeling out of it because he didn't get enough sleep, and that's why he got turned into a human kebab. But then tell me, why was he there in the first place? How did he end up getting involved with the mob, and why is he living in a hut out in the woods? How in the hell did he think it was a good idea to start selling his organs for small chunks of change? It's the small decisions that build up over time that put Denji in the hole he's in. Think of it like a running track, just a tremendously long, straight path. You're at the starting line and your dream life is waiting for you at the finish line. The starting gun pops and you start running. The other runners bump into you and shove you left and right. But you never take your eyes off the finish line. You correct yourself every time you get thrown slightly off course. And eventually, you make it to the end. But what if you're blindfolded? Every small bump disorients you because you can't see where you're going. Instead of running in a straight line and course correcting when you get knocked around, each nudge causes you to deviate further and further away from the path until eventually, you run off track and end up in a dumpster. And that's exactly what happened to Denji. 1. He didn't have a clear direction in life. 2. He didn't pay attention to avoid the things that would throw him off course. And 3. He didn't care enough to correct himself to get back on track. Instead, he literally blinded himself for money and... 
you get the point. All right, I didn't list this one because I haven't completely figured it out for myself yet, but I hinted at it earlier, so I'll talk about it briefly. Apart from his willful blindness, Denji's lack of self-respect is the second biggest contributor to his poopy position in life, symbolized by the loss of his left nut. People walk all over him and he just takes it. His boss screws him out of his pay, his colleagues bully him for entertainment, and he's content for the most part, just living his shitty life, getting treated like a dog. If you don't treat yourself with respect, then people won't respect you. That's common sense, but there's more to it than that. If people don't respect you, then they'll do horrible things to you. No matter how you look at this version of Denji, deep inside you know that he's no hero. But by god, it's a start. Having one eye and one ball isn't a good starting place, but it's a good enough one. Chainsaw Man shows us that even the most useless and pathetic of us have the potential for greatness. That no matter how low you've fallen, there's always a chance to be reborn as a hero, just like Denji. And I think that's beautiful. But what will it cost? Well, you'll have to die. And it's not going to be easy. You'll need to slowly and systematically kill off that lazy, inattentive, one-eye, one-ball version of yourself to make room for the hero you could be. And the moment you start really looking at yourself and paying attention to all the things going on around you, it's the moment you'll rise like Denji, with both eyes and both balls restored. Denji, as he rises from the dead, aims at a goal in life, and for the first time, he aims at it with intent. Not for himself, but for Pochita, the best friend that had to die so he could live. And so Denji, fueled by rage and duty, tears through the zombies and has his first taste of victory in a long time. But his win is short-lived because he immediately runs into 